The Solar Meter 6.5R is a small, easy to use device that allows you to measure the UV index or UVI in your reptiles enclosure. My name is Hunter Hauk and in today's video I'm going to be talking about how to use the solar meter, what is a solar meter, and why you would want one for your reptile care. Let's go! A few months back I purchased this beautiful piece of technology right here. It's a solar meter 6.5R which if you want to get real technical is a digital UV radiometer. You'll notice mine is Josh's Frogs branded and that's just because the seller I purchased it from was Josh's Frogs. There are a lot of sellers who sell the exact same one that's just a different packaging and I have them all on the screen right now so make sure you get one of these. Now why would you want a solar meter for keeping reptiles? Well, first of all, it comes with a super handy carrying case so you can walk around outside and take solar meter measurements on your walks. No, I'm kidding. Um, and actually my sister, when I got this, she told me that if I ever did that, she would pretend that she had no idea who I was. So no, that is not the reason. The actual reason is you want a solar meter so that you can ensure that your reptiles and amphibians are getting proper UV in their enclosures. Here's the thing, we've all bought a UV bulb and seen a chart that looks like this on the back, but those charts aren't always accurate depending on your enclosure or easy to understand and they don't always have the information that you're looking for. And then you have to do math because if you're putting it on top of a mesh screen, that means that your screen is going to be filtering out between 30 and 45% ish of the UVB, so then you have to look what percentage your specific brand of mesh filters out and then do some math, and who wants to do that? When you could just get your <laughs> solar meter, press the button, and see the UV index. So how do you use it? It's really simple. So you put your UV where you think you need it, you hold up your solar meter, you press this button right here, the screen turns on and shows you how much UV. Now obviously there's zero UV right here, hopefully, because it's my bedroom. But yeah, if your UV index is too low, you lower the bulb or raise your basking spot or get a higher strength bulb. And if it's too high, you raise the bulb or lower your basking spot or get a lower strength bulb. A solar meter is an expensive tool, I'm not gonna lie. I paid $227 for this piece of technology right here. That said, it can save you money in the long run. How, you're probably wondering, here's how. Let's say you use Arcadia brand UVB bulbs, which you would need to replace every year. To keep it simple, let's just say you have two bearded dragons and three leopard geckos. Your bearded dragons are gonna each need, for example, a T5 12% UVB bulb, which costs $21 each, and your leopard geckos every year are gonna need a replacement Arcadia Shade Dweller T5, which costs $19. So totally, you're spending $99 per year on UVB bulbs. With your solar meter, you can, instead of just throwing away the bulbs at the one year mark, you can measure them. I measure my bulbs every month and make sure that they're still working. Let's say three out of your four bulbs are still performing just like you want them to after the 12 month mark. If they end up lasting an extra year, which you know because of your solar meter, boom, you just saved yourself $80. In three years, your solar meter has paid for itself, which I know three years, that's a lot, but by the fourth year, it's pure savings. I've spoken to people who have solar meters from many years ago, like 15 years we're talking, so that's one year less than I've been alive, and they still work just as intended, as long as you don't like break it or lose it or something. So it's definitely a good investment that lasts a long time. I'll have that thing when I'm 30, probably unless I lose it or something like I tend to do. <laughs> now that's not the only reason to get a solar meter. Peace of mind was the biggest reason that I took the plunge and made the investment. Occasionally a bulb will burn out early and you won't notice it because even when they're not producing UV anymore or enough UV anymore, they still produce light or maybe a bulb is accidentally produced too strong. Things happen and so it's great to have that peace of mind by checking it with your solar meter every month takes 10 minutes, 
for all of your reptiles, depending on how many reptile enclosures you have. This way you can make sure that all of your reptiles and amphibians are getting safe, healthy amounts of UVB at all times. That's something I worried about a lot before getting a solar meter, so that peace of mind is priceless. Now that we've talked about it, let's actually go put my solar meter to use. I'll show you how easy it is to use it and we'll go take a couple of measurements. Before we actually go do that, I'm gonna tell you kind of how to interpret it. So up here, there is this thing that says Ferguson zone. A Ferguson zone is a way to classify different reptiles into different UV indexes. So there's Ferguson zones one, two, three, and four, as you can see up here. And then you can see which UVI those correspond in. So obviously zero, it's not gonna be in a Ferguson zone, but say one, that's gonna be in Ferguson zone one, two is gonna be in Ferguson, Ferguson zone two, three through four and a half-ish are gonna be in Ferguson zone three, and so on. So you can easily look at a chart and see either what UV index, so just the number that's right here your reptile needs at its basking spot, or most commonly what Ferguson zone your species is in, so that you can easily say, okay, it's in Ferguson zone three, so I want it to have between three and 4.5 UV index. I'll link in the description to a super comprehensive list, but you can also easily Google Ferguson zone for bearded dragons or whatever. So we're gonna be measuring Peyton, my leopard geckos, UV index, and this one's really easy. Leopard geckos need the lower end of Ferguson zone 2, which means a 1 to 2 UV index at their basking spot. Now you can see when I put this here, of course Peyton decided to come out and stand and beg for food right where I need to be, but you can see it's just slightly under or just slightly over 1.0, so it's right where I want it. Next up, we're going to be testing the UV index in River My Bearded Dragon's enclosure. Now, you'll notice her enclosure looks super bare and boring, and of course that's because she's brewmating right now. As soon as she comes out of brewmation, I'll add more substrate and enrichment items. Anyways, bearded dragons are typically placed towards the top of Ferguson Zone 3. This means they need a 4 to 6 UVI in their basking spot, and of course, lower on the other end. Now, you can see here, it is pretty good towards the middle of the bulb, but where her heat is, it's a little low. So once she's done brew mating, I'm also going to move her UVB towards the right a little bit so that she can have a slightly higher UV index right under her heat bulb. But yeah, I'd still say 3.9 to 3.7 is pretty good, but I will raise it a bit. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Do you have a solar meter or are you considering purchasing one? Leave a comment below and let me know your thoughts. I will have the solar meter 6.5R linked in the description on several different websites so that you can easily find one to purchase in your area. Some of these links are affiliate links, so if you purchase using one of them, You'll be helping my channel at no extra cost to you, and I really appreciate it. If you want to see more of my videos where I talk about topics surrounding reptiles and amphibians, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications. A huge thank you to my Patreon supporters for making videos like today's possible. If you want extra content and awesome perks, consider joining my Patreon for as little as $1 per month. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Hunter Hauk, and I will see you soon.